Wholesome ways to mess with your friends in Minecraft. Okay, some of these might not be that wholesome. Number one, the big boat. All you do is you place a dispenser down. Bearing in mind, this is a very expensive prank. You set up a observer clock so that it's constantly dispensing items. And then you need a lot of oak logs. Place a hopper on top of the dispenser. Place the crafting table just above the hopper like this and set up a catchment area like so. You stand one block away, right click the crafting table and start crafting boats. Lots and lots of boats. Now you just gotta press Q on this and not put them in your inventory or it'll be much slower. All the while, the dispenser is sending the boats out into the same place. Now how many boats you want to create very much depends on how strong your computer is. Mine's pretty beefy, so it can handle it. Once you've got all of your boats set up, remove everything else and wait for the boats to dispense. And when the dust is settled, you remove it and make sure you do not touch the big boat. And it's also important that you set it up in a location you know your friend actively uses as a waterway so that they hop in this boat thinking it's theirs. Then you watch them as they move forward and... <laughs> Honestly, this never gets old. Watch them just realize that they have to deal with this. Now remember, we prank hard, but we also clean up harder. That's how you be wholesome in this one. Number two the magic trick. Now for this one, you're going to need an ender porter. If you don't know what that is, you basically throw an ender pearl into a soul soil bubble elevator and you let the ender pearl just bounce there. Now how this works is when you send a redstone signal to close a trap door, it teleports you to where the ender pearl is. Basically, we have a remote redstone teleporter. Now how we're going to use this is as a magic trick. So this is how it works. You link up a secret button to a very well hidden ender porter, and then you do the following. You tell your friend you've got something to show them. Follow me. You rush into the house, rush into the cupboard, press the button, and watch them watch you disappear. Quickly, rush behind them, and scare them. <laughs> From their perspective, it looks like this. They get your attention, you follow them in, just like before, and guess what? Boom they vanish. You might hear them appear behind you, and surprise, surprise, there they are. Number three, the double door. This one works particularly well if your friend has a spruce door. What you can do is basically produce a pearlescent moon style door by adding two spruce trap doors. And if you really want to get insane with it, add another spruce door on the inside to really confuse the heck out of them when they try and get in their house. Now you watch your friend have a little bit of a confusing moment. Now, if they're a good sport, they won't get rid of it, and they'll just live with their brand new, super secure system for entering their house. It may take a bit of getting used to. Number four, an original build. If your friends built a nice house, wait until they leave and go off on an adventure doing some standard Minecraft stuff. This gives you ample time to build your own house. Only, it's going to be slightly less original than this one. You might need a little bit of time in order to make this, but it's as simple as copying it block for block right next to it. Make sure you remember which one is yours. Down to the finest detail, you want to replicate this. And more importantly, once it's done, you want to start bragging to everyone else on the server how great your house is and even show your neighbor what you've just created. And if they accuse you of copying them, just remind them who built what house, if you remember. Number five, Minecraft knowledge. This one's fairly straightforward. All you gotta do is test someone's knowledge. In the new update, you can punch an iron golem with a flower and they will give you a diamond. Watch them do it and then watch them suffer the consequences. Go back to the Minecraft wiki. Number six, beautiful pumpkin. So, one of your friends has gone AFK. It happens. Now, all you gotta do if you want to mess with them in a wholesome way is to take a pumpkin, add a curse of binding, and add some very encouraging wholesome words. Friends forever. Add yourself a dispenser. Dispense the pumpkin. And you got yourself a very wholesome pumpkin prank. Number seven, the respawn box. Once your friend's in the mine, if they die, 
the chances are they will end up back at this exact bed. But if you remove the blocks around the bed, except for one, you can guarantee that they will end up exactly where you want them to, which is in an obsidian cube. So what you've got to make sure is that this is the only spawnable place left around the bed. Then all you have to do is place some walls around the obsidian box and then they will be spawning in here and without any items, they, they won't be getting out anytime soon. Make sure that there's at least two blocks depth below the bed. They spawn in and they look super confused and you can do with them what you like. Just make sure you don't give them any blocks to get out. Wait, Green, this this isn't very wholesome. Oh, and, and don't forget the, the signs of wholesomeness. <laughs> That's wholesome, right? <laughs> That's as wholesome as it gets. <laughs> they can mine their way out by punching, but it's a five minute ordeal. And if they get close, yeah, you can always just place a couple more obsidian. Number eight, free waxing service. Now, this only applies to people like Scar who love using copper in their builds. Now, depending on what they're going for, they might want it to be raw copper or oxidized copper. Basically, whatever way it goes, you've got to make sure that you use some wax to make sure that some of the blocks don't seem to age properly and then watch them get very either annoyed or confused or both. Number 10, the ultimate betrayal. Many of us have pets that we adore in Minecraft, but they're a bit of a pain to take with us. So your friends left theirs on their own. Well, why don't we just slyly replace the pet that they love with the pet that we love? Pop their wolf in a hole or whatever pet they have, cover it up, and push your pet in its place. When they return, their pet suddenly won't listen to them. And you can watch the confusion in their face and see how long it takes them to work it out. Number 10. Surprise! Does your friend use a composter regularly? Maybe not, but if they do, this is a fantastic prank for you. Now this one will require some very basic redstone. So we clear an area under the composter and it's very important to make sure we do things in the right order. We take a piston, put a slab on top of any kind. We place an armor stand on top of that. Place a Minecraft head of your choice, the scariest you can find, and then place the composter back on top using a piston. It should look something like this with a little bit of a waffle hanging out the top there. Then use any kind of plant to cover up the head here. Then all we have to do is link up the composter with a redstone input all the way down to the piston. And then once all that's done, place the observer and make sure not to interact with this composter. Of course, it's pretty obvious that there's something fishy going on here, so be sure to cover up your redstone with ways that won't interrupt the signal at all, including moss carpet. So this looks pretty non-suspicious. And now all we have to do is wait for our friend to use the composter. And then you watch them go, ah! <laughs> that was my sky impression. Number 11, signing off. You wait until your friend has left their house, then you look around, make sure there's no one there, and go in yourself. You find some signs that they have written themselves. And then you casually recreate them, but with maybe one or two typos. And it could be whatever you want. The more subtle, the more believable it is that they made the mistake themselves. Then you just casually leave, and when they return, they will quickly discover that there are some big typos, but they might not necessarily realize that you were the one that did it. Now this is one that you can play the long game with. Steadily add typos to all the signs that they create, and they will slowly realize that maybe it wasn't them making typos the entire time. Number 12, hungry? Dispensers, when placed like this, can actually shoot items through the ground when they get a redstone input. This 
can be used to feed your friends excessively. So you take your friend's house, you go underground, and you set up a whole bunch of dispensers full of different kinds of food. And it's very important that they're different kinds. And then you set up a piston that pushes a single observer into a clock like so. Then a mysterious button and perhaps a sign that says hungry and watch your curious friends press the button and get served for meal. And if they don't turn it off at any time, it could also start to lag them out. Number 13, sky block. So your friends AFK again, it's cool. Yeah, that gives us an opportunity to mess with them. So what we're gonna do is create a scaffolding all the way up to the sky limit. And what we're gonna do is take our fishing rod, go up the scaffolding as high as we can go without the fishing rod breaking, and then right click to bring them up. Repeat the process over and over until you're all the way at sky limit. So this could take a while and it could be a bit of a painful experience. Make sure that you actually have them fishing rod before you attempt this, otherwise it could end pretty badly. It may take a while, but make sure you get them all the way up to the top where you have pre-prepared a skyblock map for them to live out the rest of their lives in skyblock happiness. Watch them come back from their AFK and accept their fate as a skyblock player from now on. Of course, they'll be able to see the rest of the world, but that's not important. Number 14, I made a walking house in Minecraft. Now, this one only really works in the beginning or how much, depending on how much dedication you have later in the game. Once your friends have finished their house and they're all happy with it, let them go off into the mines and you have a brand new opportunity. Now, this may take some time, but what we're going to do is rebuild this house somewhere else. Now, the key to this is making sure that it's not really far away. Depending on how complicated the house is, this could take a while. It only took me five minutes to take down and put up again. The key here is to make sure that everything is indistinguishable. Lots and lots of screenshots. When your friends come back from their mining activities, you can wait and see their lovely reaction to a very confusing situation. I'm pretty sure they left their house there. And of course, you can repeat this as many times as you like. And if they ask if you did it, deny it. Number 15, what a pain. So this prank is actually pretty simple. All you need is some levels, an anvil, and some light gray stained glass panes. Wow, that's a mouthful. And all you gotta do is rename these glass panes to whatever you want, preferably something wholesome. You are amazing. There we go. Now you want to repeat this over and over again until you have an inventory full of them. Now what you'll notice is that they are invisible inside your inventory. We've got all of these wholesome messages and all we need to do is find our AFK friend and basically just throw as many as they can pick up into their inventory and be on your way. Now, provided they're AFK, they shouldn't see this part. And then as they get back into the game to do their daily business, they'll quickly find that they're not actually picking up any of the blocks. Huh. That's weird. I've got, I've got slots available. Wait, what? You are smart. What? What, what is this? They'll quickly realize that their inventory is full of glass panes. Keep this up over a long period of time and they will get very annoyed and very flattered by your lovely words of encouragement. You can even put the glass panes in a barrel and it won't be visible. And when they try to shift click their items in the barrel, nothing happens. They then get confused and see all of these lovely messages. Number 16 lots of XP. So your friend has left their house unattended again. Good. Now this one will require a bit of investment as we do need a lot of bottles of enchanting, but once you've got those, this is super easy to set up. You need a dispenser, a couple of observers, and set the clock ticking. Fill them up with the bottles of enchanting and get out of there while it spams the orbs. In fact, close the doors so that it doesn't do any. 
And then just let it go ahead and spray those orbs. It'll take a while, but those orbs will start to pile up. And eventually it could get a little bit laggy. And it's done. Now my computer's a bit of a beast and even it's starting to chug. So when your friend returns, this is what they're greeted with. An infinite supply of XP orbs in their face. Ah! The jingles and tingles go on for a long time. This is 40 plus levels here. Number 17, find a face. Sometimes in Minecraft, your friends will build houses with big old windows in them. And a lot of the time, they can look like a face. You just have to give it some encouragement. Take my season eight starter house, for example. It had some big circular windows. All you gotta do, pop a couple of eyes on them and you've got yourself a screaming window. This is surprisingly easy to do in all situations. Don't forget that eyebrows can be made pretty easily as well. <laughs> a very simple and wholesome prank that you can add to any of your friends' houses. And if you wanna take it a step further, you can of course add a nice mustache. Well, that's it for this wholesome ways to mess with your friends. Okay, maybe some of them weren't that wholesome, but I did my best. Look, no one died by my hand. Okay, that's that's my idea of wholesome. Now remember, when you're pranking your friends, make sure that you know that they're a good sport about it. And if you ever create a mess, half the fun is tidying it up again. So that's it for me, everyone. I have a bunch more that didn't make it in this video. If you want to see more videos like this, then please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching and good bye.